Hello students, today we learn the most important MCQ question of the scalar and the vector analysis. Question 1. A scalar quantity has, we know that scalar is a quantity which have the only magnitude. So here the answer is A. A scalar quantity has a magnitude. Which of the following is our scalar quantity? Distance have the only magnitude. Density have the only magnitude. Temperature have the only magnitude. So all of this. The answer is all of this. Which of the following is the is not a scalar quantity? Entropy have the magnitude plus direction. And a quantity which have the magnitude plus direction is known as the vector quantity. So this is a entropy is a vector quantity. So answer is A. Displacement against scalar quantity, volume against scalar quantity, mass against scalar quantity. A vector quantity has, as I told, vector quantity is the magnitude plus direction. So here answer A. B sorry answer is the both A and B which of the following is our vector quantity force have the magnitude plus direction electric field intensity both both magnitude have and direction acceleration also magnitude and direction so answer is all of this a unique vector has its magnitude is unit vector which is always represented by the small letter A and have the only magnitude 1. It is also used for the to represent the direction of vector. is B. A unique vector has blank direction to that of the main vector. We know that unique vector is used for the direct to represent the direction of the vector so thus both have the same vector direction so answer is A. A vector P in the Cartesian coordinate is represented by in a Cartesian coordinate system component is represented by the x, y, and z. Suppose we have the point P, then component is represented by the px, py, and pz. So answer is B. Blank of two vectors use the law of parallelogram. Parallelogram is used for the multiplication of two. of two vector so answer is a question 10 a multiplication of two vector is always vector quantity and it can be also a scalar quantity depends on the product means suppose we use the dot product of between two vectors then we get the scalar and if we use the cross product then when we use the vector quantity so here answer may be either vector or the scalar quantity so here answer is c question number 11 if two vector are orthogonal then their scalar product is and we know that in the orthogonal we have the 90 degree always so suppose we have the vector a and this is the vector b then between both of them there will be the 90 degree here we have to ask the if two vectors are orthogonal then their scalar product means as per the dot product formula 
we have the magnitude of A, we have the magnitude of B and the cos 90 degree and we know that cos 90 is the 0 so multiplication of 0 with the any quantity gives the answer 0 so here answer is B question number 12 blank product is governed by the right hand scroll row cross in a cross product we find the resultant vector direction using the right hand scroll rule right hand rule or scroll rule so here answer is a vector product question 13 the cross product of the same vector to itself means suppose we have the vector a and we multiply it by itself using the cross product of the as per the mathematical formula magnitude of a magnitude of a into sine theta here theta is zero because we multiply the same vector so angle between them is zero so we can say that vector a cross vector a sine zero degree and sine zero is zero so we get the answer is zero here the answer is a 14 question r in cylindrical coordinate coordinates cor corresponding to cartesian coordinate 3 4 5 is here in a cartesian coordinate system we have given the point p which is the 3 4 and 5 and to find the r we have the formula x square plus y square so here x is 3 square and y is the 4 square so under root 9 plus 16 so under root 25 so answer will be the 5 so here answer is d question 15 in cartesian coordinate system axis x y and z are at to each other in a we know that all coordinate coordinate system are orthogonal means they have the 90 angle to each other so here we can say the answer is b cylindrical coordinates are represented in terms of cylindrical coordinate system are represented in terms of r phi and z or you can also represent it by rho phi and z both are the same here value r and rho is represented as radial distance from the z axis so here answer is a 17 question spherical coordinates are represented in terms of in a spherical coordinate system we represent it r theta and phi or rho theta or phi so here answer is r theta and phi so answer is a in a cylindrical coordinate system unit vector a r is as i told a r is the radial distance from z axis so answer is here a Question 19. Cylindrical coordinate R is related to the Cartesian coordinate system as under root x square plus y square. So answer is D. Question 20. A cylindrical coordinate Z is related to the Cartesian coordinate as cylindrical coordinate in a Cartesian coordinate system we have the point x, y and z which can be represented by in a Cartesian coordinate system suppose rho is under root x square plus y square phi is represented by the 10 inverse y by x and z is represented by the z so answer is here z question 21 in a spherical coordinate system phi is phi is the angle between the x axis to the point line between the approach 
point connected to the projection of the origin to the projection of the point this one is the angle so azimuth angle or it is also known as the projection okay, so answer is b for transformation from a cartesian coordinate system az to the cylindrical coordinate system az should be equal to as i told that z is equal to the z so here answer is none of above question 30 in, a, in terms of the spherical coordinate system variables y of cartesian coordinate system is given by in a spherical coordinate system variable y here f is can be y sorry okay in a terms of the spherical coordinate system variable bar y of the cartesian coordinate system y is represented by the r cos theta cos phi so answer is d in the cylindrical coordinate system z uh, ranges between the range of the cartesian axis is we know that from the x axis can be variable from the minus infinity to infinity y can be represented by the minus infinity to the infinity and z can be represented by the infinity to minus infinity so here range of the z axis is minus infinity to infinity here it is the minus infinity to infinity so answer is d in the cylindrical coordinate system rho ranges from rho is the radial distance which is always start from the zero to the infinite or which can be extend up to the point which is the represented by the row and z so here we can say it can be the range from zero to the row or you can also be represented by the grid greater than row Okay, thank you friends.